The title of this episode is how I felt watching last episode. This one's called No Way. And I swear I thought that in my head like a hundred. I was like, no way. No way. Oh my God. This show is something else. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers episode 17. Last episode, the entirety of it was the flashback explaining what, what went on with Kazutora and Mikey and how he's not even mentioned as a founding member. So this is going to be the continuation of that. I'm guessing this is the part two of that backstory. I'm looking forward to it very much. The show is full of twists and mind fucks. It's crazy to me. But when we come back from this flashback, we're still going to be in the crazy thick of it because we have all everything that when everything that's going down at Valhalla right now and uh, it's uh, watching that flashback makes me feel for Baji so much more and it makes me literally so much more upset the fact that he's leaving to go to Valhalla because oh my lord I mean time definitely does change but that is this is crazy I gotta hop into this like right now don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are down in the description down below for you guys like always don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias Instagram twitch TikTok, and Twitter all dapper Darius appreciate you guys very very much Tokyo Revengers episode 17 no way let's do this I've always wondered. Really? It didn't seem like that from the flashback, but... Was this a long-term kind of plan thing? Yeah, this is way more in-depth and harder than I imagined. He's got a Valhalla jacket already. Oh... I won't lie, the Valhalla jacket is so drippy, it looks wavy. Uh. October 31st, four days after my birthday. So we have a week, we have a time stable to work with. <laughs> I would be thinking the same thing, I'd be like, oh this is a horrible situation I put myself in. That's not the guy Baji beat up like crazy yesterday, is it? <laughs> Vice Captain, he is definitely the one that Baji was beating his ass yesterday. Matsuno Chifuyu. <laughs> I mean, he did beat the shit out of <laughs> Takamichi too. Is he a double agent? Okay. Expose Kisaki as what? What's he exposing? Oh, Mikey's paying his respects. Oh, it means so much more, you know, now that we know the whole story. Fuck yeah. I'd take care of that thing with my life. I get that. Uh, I, I understand that. I really do. That'd be so hard. お前は何がしてるんだ、タケミチ。マジで死にてな。あ、いや。バジさんがバルハラ内部から調べるなら、俺なりに外部から木崎を調べて協力してくれ、タケミチ。If it involves investigating Kisaki, Takamichi should say yes. そうかしないか。木崎のことを探ってるってバジ君本人が言ってたんですか？あ、言ってねえよ。
If only you knew. If only you knew. Not what I was expecting him to say in the slightest. <laughs> what a dumbass. Always just doing something out of raw emotion. Kind of a win-win. Eh, that's a little more questionable. It's kind of a win-win for Takamichi, though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He gets his help, and he gets to investigate Kisaki. Partner, pleasure to have you on board, partner. Is that Osanai? Doesn't even remember Takamichi. Is that Kisaki? Who is that? I mean, that's Kisaki's super grin, you know? It's his evil Joker's face. I mean, give him a haircut, dye his hair. That's literally Kisaki, so I'm assuming that is. He looks crazy back then. In a year, that's crazy. Yeah, what info can you give us about that? Mm. Yeah, you got the shit stabbed out of you. Oh, that's horrible. And be Mikey's like right hand man. But he survived thanks to the help of Takam. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, mm, it all makes sense. Ooh. Hanma? Baji? But he's more like a mastermind. He's an evil genius. Even Osanai is kind of trembling from this. That's a valid reason to be scared of him. I can't lie. I can't hold Osanai for that. Especially after literally working with him and end up getting stabbed. I don't blame him. Oh, is that the secret head? That... But no obvious leader? Mm, it all makes sense. The headless angel. That is a good question. There are a lot of pieces in this puzzle missing. Did we go back to the future? The present, I should say. But how? Ooh, how? Did we, I guess we saw Naoto. Visitation rooms. Is this Draken again? Oh, seeing my boy again. Oh. 
I mean, yeah, you were just autopilot. The Bloody Halloween? That's quite the fucking title. God damn. え、トーマンかマケルンスか無敵のマイキーがいるのに負けるわけあの日なんで俺は気づいてやれなかったんだろうマイキーの Okay, god damn. I love Takamichi's analogy a few episodes ago how this is a huge puzzle. We just have to fit the pieces together and we'll can find out we can find out a viable strategy to, to fix this. But every episode, I feel like we're getting like three or four pieces and I'm like, oh, that goes in that corner. That's over there. That's over there. But I still don't know the full picture yet. I love, it's so crazy. I love it. But I definitely can understand him forgiving Baji, Mikey, I'm talking about forgiving Baji for the instance. I'm, I'm glad we're mature enough to realize that obviously that's not what they intended to happen. They did it for Mikey. He was able to forgive Baji. He wasn't able to forgive Kazutora for actually killing his brother. I understand that. I fully can under, I've never had even remotely something similar to that. But if something were similar to that, I could totally see myself never forgiving that person. You know, it takes, it takes a lot to be able to forgive someone. Like, I just think about that episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. I mean, the Southern Raiders. If you know, you know, you know, that's very difficult, but, oh, he ended up killing Kazutora on the bloody Halloween. And it looks like he beat my Baji's ass too. Oh my lord. I think I got his name right. Matsuno Chifuyu. It, it, it kind of went kind of quick. But I like his addition into this. Even though he got his ass beat by Baji, he's been with him so long that he could tell he's not in this to crush Toman. There's something deeper. He wants to investigate Kisaki, who we believe Kisaki is the head of of um valhalla which all the pieces in that little mini puzzle are being put together beautifully like we're understanding that kisaki is a evil mastermind that man is something else he set up orchestrated the whole august 3rd fight orchestrated everything with mobius in the first place orchestrated everything we still don't necessarily know why though i'm curious i need to know more i need to know more but I really like Matsuno Chifuyu and, and his design and his presence in here. Oh, this is getting deep though. This is getting deep. I'm, I'm, we're back in the present. We saw Draken again, who shed some light. Valhalla ends up being the parent to the Tokyo Manji gang. And that's what ends up leading the Tokyo Manji gang to how they were, to the evil organization that they are now. But again, I need more puzzle pieces. I got to hop into this next episode. This has been super intriguing. Just twist after twist after twist. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, you know, hit that subscribe button. Click that bell so you always know when I post. Check out that Patreon if you guys want early access for episodes. Or if you want to watch the full-length version of any of these. Follow the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All at Apertarius. I appreciate you guys so much. Tell someone you love them. Drink some water. Be safe. Have a great day, you guys. Peace.